Evening, a new look tonight at the horses rescued from a Rutherford County stable. The owner is charged with underage sex crimes. Yeah, and police say the horses in his care were starving. Our Michael Warwick talked to the woman helping rescue them. Well, this is one of more than a dozen horses being brought back to health after being rescued from that horse stable over the weekend. So it's what? Three and in two inches, something like that. Jenny Earhart's oh, love for horses takes her to head. some difficult places. A wide range of disappointment, I think, because there's a lot of volunteers, a lot of um, people that were working there, employees, um, and it seemed like everybody just kind of turned a blind eye. And Rehabbing horses more than 10 years, what she says she saw at the Pinnacle Horse Stables is the worst of the worst. I'm happy that it was caught when it was and thankful that it wasn't any later because if it had been any later, then it could have been a lot worse. Over the weekend, Jenny took 13 horses from the Rutherford County property, most malnourished, some hobbling. Police discovered the horse's condition after the owner, 51-year-old Jason Lancaster, was charged with multiple sex crimes involving a teenage girl, including two counts of felony rape. Lancaster offered horseback classes and rides at the stables, where police think he preyed on more victims. Tonight, Lancaster is being held at the Rutherford County Jail on a $1 million bond. You're strong and anybody who hasn't can come forward. It's never too late. And even if it's a friend, a family member, anybody, you can go forward. You know, he's he's behind bars and I don't think he's getting out. Yeah. Yep. As for the horses, Jenny is keeping them relaxed and well fed until they see a vet this week and are potentially rehomed. You can see the wounds on this horse from laying on its side because of its injuries. This horse is in some of the worst shape of all of them and they're hoping they can still save its life. I mean, it's just there were a lot of emotions on that property, you know, understandably so. But, you know, to see so many horses in such poor condition when this guy was just widely respected nationwide as a horseman to, to see him do something like this is pretty unfathomable. The Rutherford County Sheriff's Office could not comment if Lancaster will be charged for animal abuse. His next court appearance on the sex crimes is scheduled for November 8th. Michael Warwick, WSMV4.